rocking around the Christmas tree and the happy holiday. Every night, I can't sing very well, but for a dozen ways, we will have a better feeling than here. Wreck the halls with boughs of holly. Hello, my beautiful people. <laughs> Happy December 1st. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is every video, so I hope you enjoy me making a fool of myself. But hey, life's too short. <laughs> so anyways, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. We are, I'm going to give you a little bit of a a little bit of a show. Sherry had to go to Michael's. I was so disappointed. I went to get canvases and I missed the 60% off sale. What the heck? But while I was there, they still had some good sales. I got some florals. These are gorgeous. I'm going to be using them in some of my Christmas video things. But look at this the velvet. They're velvet. They were 40% off. And this one, look at, go grab ones. When you grab them, make sure there's more than like one flower. This one had one flower, but the other ones have quite a few. This one was $10, but they were on. But look at the glitters. And then this one is gorgeous. I think it was, <laughs> it was 20, but it was on sale. But I couldn't, I justify it because there's one, two, three, there's five of them on there but this one I think is my fave we'll be using that with some of that uh, other pink stuff like look, look at that flower and it had little rosebud and look even the leaves have glitter but anyway so that's that and I purchased I'm gonna do another mirror um, I'm gonna I purchased this round one I don't know what size it is let me just take a peek um, 14 inches round and it is it was very cheap I don't know if it was like $14 so I figured I could adhere something even a beautiful ribbon to the back and hang it and you know like this flower on here with some yeah so that's gonna be a future Christmas video and I'm sorry Laura but I bought two glitters this one actually is foils. Look at the mixed foils. Now I know I can make that myself, but I bought it. And I'm a r red girl. It used to be all red. I'm just gonna lift this open. But the color of red in this glitter, oh, it helps if you turn it down. I can't show it to you when I'm holding it like this. It is called, it's Recollections and I can't find the name on it. Oh, black and red. I don't know if you can see. It's just, the colors are really pretty. So anyways, so I did get that. And I think, oh, one more thing. I bought this thinking that would be cute to make um, key change. So with that, today we're doing a Dutch pour. I haven't done Dutch pour in a while, so I'm going to get my stuff together get my hat off and we're gonna get into painting mode i'll see you guys in just a second hello i am back this is a we're just doing a little one today i haven't done dutch pour in so long this one is just a 14 by 14 inch um canvas the value packs from michael's i have it taped push pinned i buy these large push pins at my local staples they come in a little container like this there's 12 and pretty sure they're in my amazon shop underneath prep products and yeah we'll go through our colors today we are using i just pulled out a bunch of pretty little things i like some colors i like so we have modern masters metallic pewter we are using the love of my life Pebio Studio Iridescent Green Yellow. We are using Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Grumbrockers Parisian Blue. We are using Pebio Studios Iridescent Green Blue. 
and just for something off kilter a little bright color we are using liquid x basics quadra centrone magenta and i put iridescent medium in that now i haven't base coated because i are flooded whichever you want to call it i wanted to show you i had to pre-mix some white because i do have the artist loft acrylic flow white mixed but there is an issue with it so i am using this is dale sorry i'm reading upside down dollar and roni i bought this one from um, walmart a long time ago so it's been doing good for me but anyway so that's what i've got mixed my mixing ratio is uh two parts flow trial one part paint and more or less one part water i have a mixing video i will link it in the description box but i wanted to i didn't want to flood it yet because i wanted to i'm going to put some glitter in my base paint and i wanted to show you how to do that again if you haven't seen it before so this is basically my my white flood base and i'm just gonna scoop in this one is i'm using the cheap version because i don't want to waste my expense my, not expensive but my high quality amazing glitters from laura so this one is spin it extra fine holographic glitter from michaels i am using one big heaping spoon we're going to give it a stir and see where that gets me And people question me, it does shine through. The glitter is heavier than the paint because the paint has been thinned down and it shines like crazy. Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, you can kind of see the flex in there. So I think that's good. I'm gonna scrape off my spatula. Oh, that's funny, I got how did I get blue? Oh, must have been from the containers had a little leak. All right, let's get rid of my glitter. I'll link my other video that I did. See, you can see the glitter. It just, it's crazy. I'm just gonna scrape that off there. All right, here we go. We are just going to flood this canvas. Go. Oh, and I'm having such an issue, guys. This is why you label your products. I have this sitting here, and I have no clue what it is. I mixed up some water glue mix when I was doing the other paintings, and I have no clue. <laughs> so, no matter what you do, remember to label your bottles, please, guys, because that right there is a deal breaker especially when you've got that much of a product and you don't know what it is i don't know if it's strained floetrol i don't know if it's my glue and water mix and i don't just have one i have two i'm a i'm a feeling that it's the glue and water mix but anyway my friends this is my oxo um it's called an omelet spatula it is linked in my description box it is amazing been using this for years and i don't think i even made a deal out of it but november 6th was my third year anniversary of doing youtube i can't believe that has been three years the first year was a very lonely year because, you know, it took a while for people to find me. But I'm glad you found me. All right, I'm just going to do this, the edge. Give this a wipe off because you don't want it. Keep it clean while we're going because I had a little bit of an incident the other day i'm so upset my same company actually the my mixing um cups i like to use for my resin those they're oxo measuring cups um my white resin cured in it 
because I waited so long. I was doing the um, the coasters the, with the flowers on them. And oh my goodness, guys. It's hard to get it out. It's not like those little cups that you're able to flip inside out. These ones you cannot. My sides are all good. All right, I'm just gonna give it a torch down the middle. See, look at, look. When I torch, pay attention. Look how the glitter popped up, watch. So when I get a comment saying the glitter doesn't show, it shows. Figured this would be cute for a little Christmas. There we go. I don't know if you've seen that, but I almost set my uh, puppy pet on fire. So I've got a little extra white mixed up and I will put that in something else so that I have it for the next one. Okay, so we're just gonna lay our colors. Um, let's put this blue down first. Give it a shake because I haven't done a pour in a while. And how am I gonna do this? to do let's just do corners let's do two little and we'll see where that takes me all right let's do oh <gasps> I guess that's going there the blue green there was no lid on it <laughs> so let's get this out of here while we're going It's going to blow over anyway, but might as well start the right way. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. All right. We'll do silver. The pewter, sorry. Modern masters. I'm just going to squirt it out to get it going. Let's do my love of my life, Pablio Studio. Now watch this one not come out because there's no. <laughs> the lid's going to come off and I will. Oh, that was an evil laugh. Sorry. We're going to pour. We'll do the magenta quadrone quadrant magenta. And then the cobalt blue. Artist loft metallic cobalt blue. There we go. Kind of nervous, haven't done this in a little bit. All right, guys, we'll give it a torch. Half the battle is knowing how to blow it and where to blow it. So, we will start this way. Just do white around here, just so it might blow a little, a little more. 
I'm going to do the same here. I don't like blowing it over, but it's nice to have that little extra so it'll blow. All right, let's try again. popped guys just give me a second Was meant not to do a Dutch pour today, guys. Look at that. I even hit it. Okay. I'm going to add more paint here. And this is the lovely thing is with this, you can add to it. There's no need to... Oh. I want to blow that out this way. Whoa, that is a lot. Let's do silver. And the magenta. And let's just see what we get. And I will this back and add some white here and we will see if that takes us anywhere all right here we go guys And I did make sure this was level. Oh, that's even harder. Let me, I'm going to do it on an angle, maybe. It is what it is, my friends. Now let me see if I can... Oh, that's hilarious. My light's all turned on behind me. There, where I hit it with the blow dryer. Oh, it's not too bad. The cells are crazy. I don't know what it is with um, it's some of the paints that I'm using. I'm finding you get these watery looking cells. I don't know. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. I tend to look at things and think it's not right, but then it doesn't look too bad. You know how we all are on our hard on ourselves, guys. All right, so that's that. I'm going to give it a torch. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know. I like cells, but that's a bit funky in there. There's white. Let me see if I can kind of blow that that way. And turn it on an angle again. There, yeah, that's better. I like that. There. Well, I'll bring you down for a little bit of a look. Again, like I said, I haven't done Dutch pork in forever, so it is not my best. But, you know, guys, it is what it is. I love the glitter in the paints. And I will link the other one I did with the glitters in the description box. And I also link my... Um, my mixing video. So with that, I'm going to bring you down and show you what it looks like. And I'll see you guys in a second. Wow. This day was not meant to be. Look what I did. I reached up to take the camera off my stand and I put that through my painting. So I'm wondering if maybe I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to show you what I'm doing, how to fix your mistakes. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to scrape this side. What in the H? I don't normally scrape, guys, and you know that. I try to do everything that I can not to scrape. I'm going to just bite the bullet, put more glitter in the hole. Um, where did I put it? Oh, it's right here. I'm just putting some more glitter. I'm just. There we go. And then I have a little squeeze bottle that has glitter already in my white mix. So I'll put this in there. I was trying to keep it all white. Wow. What a day. to go to work so we're gonna put this up here oh, I tell you guys <laughs> <sighs> then you know how the days where you shouldn't have got out of bed that might be today for me I think there's a lot of paint and that's the thing with the Dutch pores you don't want too much paint but you want enough paint you know because you don't want it to uh, You want it to flow, but when you put too much paint, it puddles everything back. That's when your when your um, paint when you let it dry and you come back, it's all sunk back in. That's because you have too much paint. So mind you, I can scrape. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna. Do it. Oh my goodness, guys! <laughs> You'd almost think I didn't know what I was doing. There's some days where it's questionable. I'm gonna lay down my colors again, and we're just gonna go for it. And I'm putting them any which way. I'm not going the same. wanting to make a longer video but I guess it's turning into a longer video isn't it guys this is crazy Woo. and and I think the 
done. Broker, Water Centrum, Magenta. I think I got them all. All right. Let's try this again. And I will put this and this so it will flow better. All right. Here we go, guys. See the puddling here? There's so much paint here. That is hilarious. Let's just bring this in. I want that negative space in here. I'm working hard on this one, guys, I tell ya. Let me see if I can, I'm gonna grab my straw. I don't know if you're new to me. This is, I like to use, it is a, um, silicone tubing or whatever so a tubing for your um, water lines in your home like when you hook up the water to your refrigerator and that's what I like to use because I can I'm just wiping this off as I'm talking I can use it without getting my shirt or my upper extremities into the paint all right all right here we go see it's long you don't have to worry about getting into anything. All right, here we go. And I don't like that. Oh, guys <laughs> I should it just give up Some torch in here I'm gonna leave it that is what it is my friends I'm gonna hold on to my shirt and try and take you down and bring you in for a close-up <laughs> the good the bad the ugly so this might be the ugly guys but I'll bring you down this is all funky now. It was pretty. Let me flip it and see if I can. Well, my friends, it is either an epic fail. It is a, this is how to try to overcome. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Not sure if I like it. It is what it is. I'm sorry, but I have to get ready to go to work. So I'm getting this up for you guys today. So anyways, I'll bring in for a close up. I'm not sure if maybe some of you guys know. I find it it looks so hazy, like it looks hazy. Not sure if it's a certain paint. Um, I tried to omit paints, like I thought the Grumbrockers were the culprit, but I have no idea. But anyway, it is what it is, my friends. Try to do the background with the glitters. That is amazing. Um, I have a few that I've done that turned out beautiful. So well, with that, I hope you enjoyed today's video. The trials and tribulations of Sherry. What can go wrong goes wrong. <laughs> but anyways, it is what it is. Um, I got to get ready now and go to work. So that's fun. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the intro. Um, that will be every day to the Christmas. Every video I put up, I'll have a crazy hat. So with that, please give the video a thumbs up. 
please hit that bell for notifications. If you have not yet subscribed, please, please do. It helps grow my channel. And in my description box, I have the links to um, my Facebook page. I have the links to my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate with. I also have the links to where to purchase TriArt Liquid Glass. Also, where to purchase Crystal Resin. Also, I have a discount code for Fundy Molds, and the link is in there. Also, my two amazing Lorez distributors, the wonderful, the amazing Michelle from Canada. My Artworks Resin Canada. She is, um, I have a discount code for her. It is Sherry Moulton. 10 capital S capital M go check out her website she's got resin she's got glitter she's got Lorez products as well and the amazing Michelle my glitter guru my American Lorez distributor please go check out her website as same as her she's got a whole whack of stuff she's got beautiful stones and she's got glitter she's got paste um, use my discount code it's all capital letters Sherry Moulton 10 Check out those two amazing ladies, and my PayPal link is in there. And with that being said, I'm off to work, which I don't really want to do, but that's facts of life. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.